Hey guys, welcome back to another figure review. Now, this is now on my third oh, Godzilla figure. And, and this is kind of one of my favorite Godzilla villains in the Godzilla franchise. Gigan. Now, this is the Final Wars Gigan. Fortunately, I do not have the show of Gigan. You know, it sucks. So, I'm both going to have to cover the show and this guy's history. Now, show what Gigan was like. Release was a monster released from a. I don't know what the name of the aliens were, but they send him and King Ghidorah to Earth to attack. And then Godzilla and Angris came to stop him. And literally, Gigan was the first monster to make Godzilla bleed. I mean, he f he f was flying, and then he, like, his buzz saw, like, cut his shoulder, and then he was using his hooks to, like, hit him in the forehead and everything. But then Godzilla got up and starts to beat the crap out of him. And literally, he's him and King Ghidorah f fly away. Then he also appeared in Godzilla vs. Megalon, where he teamed up to fight. Where he teamed up with Megalon to fight Godzilla and Jet Jaguar, and uh, he he literally got beat up by Godzilla again and flies away as well. And then he appeared in Godzilla: Final Wars, which is the version you're seeing right now. And uh, the Exilians really uh, woke in him, and then he was. Then they sent him to stop the the good guys in the film, so they won't be able to break Godzilla free. But unfortunately, they broke him free, and then Gigan starts to fight Godzilla. But unfortunately, Godzilla uses his atomic breath to break to. Makes it make Gigan's head explode. But then they build Gigan again, but doesn't have the hooks or anything. Well, he has changed. He has instead. He doesn't have the hooks, but he has the chainsaws. Then he fought. Oh, he saw. He fought Mothra, but unfortunately, uh, he killed Mothra. But apparently, uh, she was on her fire form, which literally blasts runs into him and explodes yeah so that's pretty much Gigant's history now in the detail detail and figure is great now fortunately when I saw these they shouldn't have paint the uh, wings the inside of the wings right there yeah now in articulation, arms can't rotate 360 because uh, these shoulders here move and get into the way. And then when you rotate its head, it does this weird crooked position. Yeah. Oh, head rotates 360 as well. Now there's a glue seal on the tail. Now I wouldn't break that. Now, on the size comparisons, let's bring out my all-time favorite Ultra Kaiju in the Ultraman series, Bemular. I this I see this is cool. Having Bemular and Gigan fight Ultraman and Godzilla. Now let's bring in my Millennium Godzilla. I see this is good as well. Yeah. Now let's bring on Me another Godzilla villain. Mega Godzilla. Yeah, you see this is cool as well. Now for rarity, um, same thing with the 12 inch Godzilla figure. He's not that rare. And, uh, yeah. History is good. Um, detail, good. Sizing, fun, uh, good. 
Very easy. I give this figure a 9 out of 10. Because uh, the inside of the wings should have been painted. Yeah, so that's pretty much this for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, see you next time. Bye.